Hey YouTube, I'm back with another little video. Um, typical for me, I was walking my dog uh, just a few minutes ago and I was like, Holy Spirit, what do your people need to hear today? Um, I was kind of doing some cleaning around the house today and just kind of not uh, focused on social media as much today, just doing stuff around the house. But the Holy Spirit was like, Ezra Lee, my people need to hear, you know, some things and they need to be encouraged. And so I have something, you know, for them to be encouraged. And so I was like, okay. So I asked him, what, what do you want them to hear? And I have to preface this with sometimes when the Holy Spirit speaks things to me, I'm like, well, that's simple. Like, that's simple, God. Like, is there anything else you want me to share? And it's so simple because the Holy Spirit speaks simple but profound things. Like, they're so profound, but so simple and straightforward, whereas the enemy and deception, um, and sometimes our flesh will speak, like, complex things that are just stupid. Like, it seems so far-fetched and so knowledgeable, but it's actually stupid and not even that smart, you know, it's just kind of deception. So, what the Holy Spirit told me is, he said, I am enough. Jesus is enough. And... He was like, I'm enough for them. That's what he was putting on my heart. He's like, I'm enough for them. And and people are worried if I'm going to satisfy their needs, their desires, and even their wants in some scenarios, but especially their needs. Um, and he just wants you to know that he is enough. Like, that's what we need to know as individuals, as Jesus followers, that Jesus is enough, that he has, it's not even like he's enough to satisfy us or like he's enough in himself. But the concept that I, I really know that some of you need to hear is he has enough as well to provide for you. He has enough to protect you. He is enough to sustain you. He is enough to be your joy. He is enough to be your hope. Jesus is enough to be um, anything that you're lacking. Jesus can be for you. He already is that, but he wants to be that for you. Any area of your life that you feel like, I'm just depleted. I'm lacking. I don't have this. I'm lacking in this area. Say, Jesus, I'm lacking in this area. Will you be enough in this area? I don't need external things right now. I need you to show up internally. And then maybe there's some external things that the Holy Spirit will bring into your life or take out of your life, whatever that looks like for you. But I just, he's enough for you, Jesus's people. And that's something that's so simple um, and profound. And I'm going to put some scripture verses below if you want to check that out, uh, some verses that... Um, the Holy Spirit is going to, you know, just put on my heart to put in the little description below. So you can go read those and, and process this out. Like, Lord, you are enough. In what area of my life do I not feel like you're enough in? What area of my life do I feel like um, I need to go somewhere else other than you to get something, to to get a need, to fulfill something? Like, where where's the gap? Show me your heart. Show me who you are in that area or in that um, aspect of my life. I know many times that I'm just going to share, um, you know, vulnerably about times when Jesus was not enough for me, even though I was like, yeah, he is enough. Like I, I still, there's a bit of a disconnect. I wanted to him to be enough for me, but I was still like, well, maybe I need this. Maybe I need this. And for me, it was definitely in the areas of relationships, specifically like romantic relationships, but even friendships as well and platonic, um, connections and even, family connections and things like that like for me it was always like relationally um I was just like god are you enough for me relationally like really are you enough like will you provide for me relationally like can I trust you to provide for me relationally and if I don't have people around me will you fulfill that need of mine um for relationships and in every different facet and every different section or sector of relationships uh that that we can have on this earth, right? And it was so hard because I would go to people, especially like even in high school and a little bit after, and I would just put people on a pedestal, friends, um, people, uh, you know, even boyfriends and things like that. Like I would put them on a pedestal because I was like, oh, they, they'll be enough. Then then they'll fulfill me. The, the, this gap that I have relationally, then they will fulfill. They will be enough for me. And it wasn't until... I honestly want to say like a year to under a year ago where it kind of just clicked in my mind and I was like 
no, like, G Jesus is genuinely enough for me relationally. That does not mean, um, you know, you don't need to have people around you because you definitely do. And that's so important. Um, but it's just that concept of people won't fulfill you. Jobs won't fulfill you. Money won't fulfill you. Success won't fulfill you. Jesus is enough for you. And he wants to show you that he's more than enough. Jesus is more than enough for you. The areas in your life that you're lacking, the areas that you don't have enough in like physically, tangibly, go to Jesus and say, God, I, I feel empty here. I feel a lack in this area. Please sustain me with who you are in this area, the identity of who you are in this area. Show up, you know? And as you pray and you genuinely ask for help, you're like, Jesus, I just need help. Like that's something that's been so heavy on my heart the past like day. It's just asking Jesus for help. You don't even know what you're going to need or what you even need in the moment, but just saying, Jesus, I just need help. I'm not really, something's off. I feel weird. Like I just, I need something to change. Like, can you help me? Cause I just feel this way. And he does help. He does help. Even in, I'm just going to give a testimony even last night. Um, so yesterday I was sharing how I didn't have money for my phone bill, but I knew it was going to come through. And last night it did come through. It literally did with extra. Like the Lord literally provided money for my phone bill. So I was only a day late because he wanted me to speak out in faith. He wanted me to tell some people so that they could be impacted by the faith that I have in Jesus because he's that good, because he's that faithful. And I knew he was going to provide. I knew, and I knew exactly every little thing that the Holy Spirit was telling me this past weekend. I was following it through to the T, even when it didn't make sense to me. And he's that faithful. Jesus is that faithful. He's so real. He is so real. There's been times where I've been in low situations where I've been like, uh question mark i i don't feel good i'm weak i have like i'm lost everything like what's going on god and there's so like jesus comes through and comes through and he's he's just so real for whoever needs that reassurance jesus is so real i am like the weakest of the weak i would say in the world standards like just i feel like i'm the weakest of the weak but i'm actually so strong because I let Jesus come into the areas of my life that are weak go in that he actually sustains me and he's like hey I'll be strong where you're weak I'll be strong I've got this don't worry lean on me I'm enough for you and so I pray that 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 um simple sentence that the Holy Spirit put on my heart just really resonates in your spirit as you hear Jesus say I am enough for you the I am that I am that from the beginning of time I am like he's enough for you he sustains this is something the Holy Spirit told me do I have it oh it was so beautiful I was really anxious in the um probably fall of 2023 and oh what was it um I have sustained Oh no, I don't even know where this is. Um, 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 um. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to remember. Holy Spirit, give me, please help me remember. Um, I was looking, yeah, so I was having an anxious moment. I don't even remember what I was anxious about, but I was anxious about something. And I was looking outside and it was fall. Um, the leaves were changing and the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he's like, I have maintained ecosystems for centuries. And I will make sure like that I provide for you or I sustain you as well. Like I will take care of you. And it was so encouraging. And as, as he spoke that I was feeling anxious, as he spoke that I could feel my anxiety, just like there was a peace that's stilling that still small voice of the Holy Spirit. It's, he's so beautiful. Um, so I want to encourage you with that. Like he's maintained ecosystems for centuries without any man-made help, without any help, but he doesn't need help. He wants to help you and like he will sustain you. He will fulfill you. Jesus is like, I feel so fulfilled today in Jesus. And there are many things that I don't have that the world says like I should have, but I'm so fulfilled in Jesus. And I'm not even at like, like I have many blessings. I have very, I have so many blessings and I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Like I'm so grateful, but like, I've been going through some like rough waters the past year. It's like, what is going on? Um, and it doesn't feel like it's letting up, really. It's just kind of like we're consistently just bearing through it. We're going through it with Jesus and learning a lot. But it's still... Uh, but I still feel so fulfilled and so content because 
my joy, my fulfillment is not out on my external situations. It's not how I feel. It's not who I am. It's on who Jesus is. And so I'm able to go through my days encouraging you guys, um, you know, doing what I need to do during the day, you know, worshiping Jesus with my lifestyle, with my heart, because I know that he's worthy to be praised, even when it doesn't feel good, or even when things don't look like how I want it to look, or whatever it is, he's just that good, and he is enough, and I am so fulfilled as a 25-year-old, like, who is just kind of starting out in life, I would say, like, with the things she wants to do with her life, like, I am so content, I'm not chasing success. I'm not chasing um, a guy for fulfillment. I'm not chasing, you know, um, approval of people. I'm not chasing those types of things. I'm not chasing degrees. I'm not chasing, you know, it's one thing to go and want those things and to go and work hard for those things. But if you're chasing after it, it's like what's fulfilling you. It's what's driving you. And what drives me is the Holy Spirit. When he says go, I go. No one, and I mean no one, could stop me. No, I will go. And I'm like a, I'm like locked in like I will go in that direction doesn't matter the opposition I'm like trudging away we're walking against the flow of people of life sure let's go against the flow um and it's awesome it's really it's really cool because that's the confidence that's found in Jesus and that security that's found in Jesus because he is enough and I can tell you if you're wondering is Jesus enough like can he really provide I don't know he can and he is so capable of fulfilling you and then when other things happen, like when, this, for example, today, okay, listen today, this is so small, but it's just, ah, it makes me so happy. So today I got, um, some new like skirts and a couple tank tops and stuff like that for summer, just to update my wardrobe a little bit, right? Um, the Holy Spirit was like, girl, you can get these things. Cause I'm always praying about what I'm purchasing. Cause I don't want to, I'm not trying to be irresponsible. You know what I mean? And so, um, yeah, so I got these things and it made me so happy. Did those outfits fulfill me? Am I like, oh, when this person sees me there? No, I was just like, this is so awesome. Like, this is so cool. I was so ecstatic and so joyful just because it was fun to me. And that seems so little, but sometimes we're like, oh, I wish I got this. I wish I got that. Oh man, they will not, they won't see this. So it's not really that cute. And we're, it's that, that doesn't even fulfill like that moment is ruined because you're like, oh man, because you're not fulfilled in who you are and who Jesus is. And so some of these little things that just pass you by and you don't even get to enjoy them. But I like to enjoy these moments where I was like, yes, I feel good in these outfits. These are cute. And you're able to, when you're fulfilled in Jesus, when your identity is in Jesus, when you know that Jesus is enough, you then are able to like appreciate all the things around you even more. They don't fulfill you, but they sure do add to your life sometimes, like the cool, fun things of life, like even success, degrees, um, relationships, friendships, um, you know, uh, money, you know, they do add to your life if it's brought to you, if it's brought to you by the Lord, it's going to add to your life, you know, um, and if it takes away, then it's just going to take away and make you better or bring something better into your life. Like the Lord really turns everything out for good as you're trusting in him, right? Yes, Rue. Yes, Rue. Anyways, but that's just, that was so heavy on my heart today as I was walking my doggo. And um, just to let you guys know, like, he's so capable and I am enough for you. And, and it doesn't even like, I heard I am enough for you, but then I first heard I am enough and then I'm enough for you. Those are two separate sentences. I am enough. I am enough for you. Because he's just enough, but he's also enough for you. That you, if you have any lack in your life, go to Jesus. He will supply you with uh, the richness of who he is, which is like amazing. Ah, so cool. Um, anyway, I gotta go and cook dinner now and fold laundry and housework. Like, it's fun, <laughs> you know, so exciting. Um, and I also had a cheese string before this, and that's just silly because... <laughs> You don't have a cheese string when you're about to talk because I can, you know, the phlegm. I'm like, I need to have a drink of water. My throat's getting scratchy because I had cheese. Dairy is not your friend when you're trying to speak publicly. So anyway, that's, you know, live and you learn. And um, yeah, but I pray that this encouraged you and that you bring any lack to Jesus because he cares for you and you will lack no good thing as you're putting Jesus first because he is so good and he's going to supply you with the richness of who he is, but also he's going to bring good physical things into your life and there'll be still challenges, but he will be good through it all. Like the unpredictabilities of life are not unpredictable to Jesus and that's the truth. 
So I pray that this encouraged you. It was actually a kind of a little video. We're not going, it's not quite 50 minutes to, or 60 minutes, just a quick little video. Um, but bless you guys in all the ways. Thank you so much for listening and I'll be back whenever I'm back.